Americans have taken to the water in unbelievable numbers. I like that. I'm Mike Nelson and a diver myself. But I definitely don't like some of the traffic problems created by it. Or some of the people on the water who know no self-discipline. I was worried about just that one Saturday when I was shooting photographs for an underwater supply catalog. I was below with two of my favorite people, Virginia Bryant and Noreen Carr, both wonderful models. Virgie was a lot of fun. Noreen, though, was, well, she was something special. I'd known her for only a few weeks, but already she was occupying a good deal of my time and thought. Above us was a weekend mecca for fishermen, speedboat enthusiasts, and water skiers. Our deadline gave us no choice. The water lanes were clearly marked with flags and buoys, but some of the boatmen seemed to think the flags were targets. Their shenanigans not only disturbed our work, they were dangerous to everyone on or in the water. Some of the boats were as heavy on horsepower as their skippers were light on horse sense. This one ignored completely the diving flag that I planted to indicate we were working below. Either he didn't know what it meant or he just didn't care. was it, the last picture of the day. I had an appointment in town, but the girls wanted to stay and enjoy the water. They had no reason not to, but I was worried about the irresponsible water traffic above. I finally agreed to leave them behind. I figured I had no right to interfere with their fun. And that was one of the biggest mistakes I ever made. Virgie, what's the matter? Oh, Mike, I've been trying and trying to reach you. Noreen's been hurt. They don't even know if she's going to live. What? What's happened? Where are you? Lakeside Hospital. She was hit by a speedboat, hit and run. I, I was just coming up from the bottom. Lakeside Hospital? Yes. I'm on my way. Sure yet, but they may have to amputate her leg, Mike. Oh no! And her arm. What? Oh, how did it happen? Well, I don't know. She must have just been getting into a dinghy when the speedboat came out of nowhere. Do you see it? No, nobody else did. I was down on the bottom, and then suddenly I heard a boy of an engine getting very loud, and then, and then suddenly Noreen started screaming. And Must have been terrible. What about her folks? They've been notified? 
She hasn't anyone in the world but us, Mike. Nobody at all? Not a soul. She says if they have to amputate, she doesn't even want to go on living. Oh, poor Nori. Well, I don't blame her. I, I'd feel the same way myself. It's not definite, is it, that they're oh. going to have to amputate? No. Well, so? But she has no money. She has no insurance. She has nothing. That hit and run driver, he's not going to get away with this. You know, Mike, it's going to cost her thousands of dollars. No, it won't. What? He's going to pay for it. Who? The guy who hit her. But you don't know who did it, do you? No, not yet, but I'm going to find out. That's one thing she's not going to have to worry about, where the money's coming from. Larry, I still think you ought to turn yourself in. It's not too late. Turn myself in? No one knows it was me. What? You can't be sure. They may trace you. How? My boat was hardly damaged at all. What damage there was, I fixed, personally. There were absolutely no witnesses. No one. Why didn't you stop? Well, I panicked. I took off. Don't say that to the police or the Coast Guard or somebody, but say it now and they'll forgive you. Are you out of your mind? Look, I'm a star. I play heroes. This had finished me. It's box office poison. Uh, they'd drum me out of show business. Larry, Larry, I'm not just your agent. I'm your friend. I'm trying to tell you what's best for you. If you tell them now, they'll forgive you. It was a mistake. You corrected it. But if you don't, and you get nailed. You're the only one who could nail me, because I was fool enough to tell you about it. But I think you just better forget that I did. You hear me? I hear you. The Coast Guard was already making a routine check. And I began my own, in civilian clothes. Every boat that went by looked suspicious, especially if it went by fast. Each harbor seemed to have an endless line of boats to check on. Then I was back in my Coast Guard auxiliary uniform, openly checking with the commodores of yacht clubs and boat owners. I questioned the masters of small yacht harbors. And I especially interrogated the operators of boat yards and repair shops. But at every stop, I drew a blank. We're still nowhere, Mike. Nowhere at all. Ah, uh, poor girl. Yeah, how is she now? Have they, uh, have they had to amputate? Not yet. I'd give a year's pay to crack this case. Not just on account of her, but safety on our waterways has become a national problem. Yeah, I know. On some holidays, almost as many people die on the water as on the highways. It's got to be brought under control. Hey, wait a minute. When the police make an arrest in an auto hit and run case, they find the same thing over and over. The guy was a bad driver all along with a history of traffic violations. Yeah. Well. Why shouldn't the same thing apply in a speedboat hit and run? That makes sense to me. There are at least six owners around here we've had to give citations to time and again. A couple of them we've had to turn over to the United States Attorney. Oh, it might not do any good, though. They've had plenty of time to cover up any evidence. Cops side, yeah. But they wouldn't bother to fix up any scratches on the bottom of the boat. Nobody would see them. Nobody but a diver, that is. A diver? Yes. Here's one you can start on right now. Two citations in six months for reckless and negligent operation. Oh, boy. Speed crazy. 
Larry Putnam? The big movie star. Paint marks, made in a collision. Maybe for my dinghy, they were the right color. I doubted that this could be the hit and run boat. I couldn't be that lucky. But if it were, then laboratory analysis would find the traces of paint were from my dinghy. I began taking some samples. the samples I needed. Next, I wanted to check the propeller for possible telltale dents. nicks or dents. That might or might not mean something, depending on what the lab came up with on the paint sample. Lakewood Hospital, Noreen Carr was off the critical list now. She wasn't even trying to get well, but unless she did, her doctors would have no choice. They'd have to amputate. I was trying to make her fight again. What did you say? I mean it, Nora. You've got to fight. It's rough on you, I know. Plenty of... No, you said something else. Something about digging in. That's right. Dig in with both... Go on, Mike. With both feet? Suppose I only have one. I was only... Look, you, the odds are all in your favor that you're going to walk out of this hospital on two feet. If you want to. Want to? Want to. With all your heart and soul. With everything you've got in you. You've got to know that everything's going to be all right. You've got to have faith. Oh, Mike, that's easy to say. I know it is, sure. But what else have you got if you don't have faith? 
nothing. All right. Call for you, Mike Commander Royce. Thanks. Well, are you going to start fighting? I'll try. That's my girl. Mike Nelson here, Commander. Any news? It's the paint from the dinghy, all right. Good. Well, we're not home yet, though. The paint identifies the boat, but not who was driving it. We could arrest Larry Putnam, but we'd never convict him. Uh, I think I'll pay him another visit. Topside this time, though. I'd like to see what a movie star looks like in prison. My first move was to snoop around Putnam's boat, openly. It paid off faster than I'd expected, in several ways. Two of the metal letters were brand new, as though they'd been put on just recently. What do you think you're doing? My name's Mike Nelson, Coast Guard Auxiliary. Just a courtesy examination. Everything checks out fine, right number of life preservers. Oh, uh, you could use another fire extinguisher. When I have visitors, I expect them to knock. Right up there. I'm sorry. I'll remember next time. Looking at the two letters, I had to replace in the name. That doesn't prove anything. Look, his name is Mike Nelson. He happens to be a diver. I think I know what he'll dive for next, and where. Larry, cut it out, will you? Stay put. Don't get yourself in any deeper. Leave me alone. As soon as I could get my gear together, I headed for the bottom. I had a hunch that I'd be racing someone, Larry Putnam or the man who'd been standing behind him. But because it was just a hunch, I decided against notifying Commander Royce. The letter Y. That meant that I was right in the area where the accident had happened. I knew the letter D had to be somewhere close by. Those two metal letters were important evidence. I wanted both. I widened my search pattern.
I knew immediately it must be Putnam. He was whipping his boat so that the anchor would swing wildly in every direction. And any second, he would start hitting the bottom with it too, wherever he saw my air bubbles. my bubbles were giving him his target. I'd have to leave my air lung as a decoy and swim away without it. Then I heard the siren. I didn't know how they found me, but I knew that it was the Coast Guard closing in on Putnam. Sorry, Larry. I just had to do it. For you and for the girl. Wonderful news, Mike. They're not going to have to amputate. They're not? <laughs> no. Uh, no? No, sir. I decided I wouldn't let him. So you did it, huh? With a little faith. Do you suppose I could raise some money with the same faith? It'll be a little while before I'll be doing any modeling again. Hey, didn't you tell her? Well, since it's your miracle, I thought you'd tell her, Mike. Well, it's just that this uh, Putnam character finally came to his senses. He authorized his agent to pay all your bills, plus $25,000 in damages, if that's okay with you. Oh, Mike. I can't say it. No, don't try to. You're doing just fine. Hello there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is fun and adventure for young and old, but it can be dangerous. So know the sport well and don't take any chances. Be with you next week for another exciting sea hunt.